In a small village, there lived six blind men who had heard of an elephant but had never seen one. One day, an elephant was brought to the village, and the blind men decided to go and touch the elephant so they could understand what it was like. The first blind men touched the elephant's leg and said, an elephant is like a tree trunk, strong and sturdy. The second blind man touched the elephant's tail and said, an elephant is like a rope, thin and flexible. The third blind man touched the elephant's tusk and said, an elephant is like a spear, sharp and dangerous. The fourth blind man touched the elephant's ear and said, an elephant is like a fan, soft and gentle. The fifth blind man touched the elephant's side and said, an elephant is like a wall, flat and immovable. The sixth blind man touched the elephant's trunk and said, an elephant is like a snake, long and wriggling. The six blind men began to argue, each insisting that their perception of the elephant was correct. They could not understand why the others saw the elephant differently. A wise man passing by saw their argument and approached them. He asked them to describe what they had touched, and each blind man shared his perception. The wise man listened carefully and then explained to them that they were all partially right and partially wrong. He told them that the elephant was like a tree trunk in its strength, like a rope in its flexibility, like a spear in its sharpness, like a fan in its gentleness, like a wall in its immovability, and like a snake in its length and movement. Each of their perceptions was correct, but it was limited to their own experience. The wise men then explained that life was like the elephant, vast and complex, and that it was impossible for any one person to fully understand it. He advised them to listen to each other's perceptions and to work together to gain a greater understanding of the world around them. The blind men listened to the wise man and realized the error in their thinking. They apologized to each other and decided to work together to understand the world. They learned to listen to each other's perceptions and appreciate the different ways of experiencing the world. From that day on, the six blind men worked together and helped each other to explore the world around them. They discovered that by sharing their perceptions and experiences, they could gain a greater understanding of the world and of themselves. The story of the blind men and the elephant teaches us that our perception of the world is limited by our own experiences and that by listening to others and working together, we can gain a more complete understanding of the world around us. It reminds us that we should not be quick to judge or criticize others for their perceptions, but instead, we should seek to understand and appreciate the unique ways in which they experience the world. The lesson learned from this story is that perception is subjective and limited to our own experiences, and that we should listen to others and work together to gain a more complete understanding of the world. It teaches us to appreciate and respect the diversity of perceptions and experiences, and to avoid judging or criticizing others for their unique perspectives. Ultimately, the story emphasizes the importance of empathy, collaboration, and open-mindedness in building mutual understanding and respect. Thank you for watching. May you have peace and prosperity, and may all your wishes come true.